First, we had to talk about Quavo and Sweetie, and now we have to talk about Jen Shaw. She's one of the housewives for Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, and her and her assistant have just been arrested, charged with federal fraud conspiracy. What is going on? Now, I briefly reviewed and recapped this show but I quickly lost interest but I because I couldn't connect to the ladies on this show. But it is a new housewife show that is um, out there in Salt Lake City, Utah. And Jen Shaw was one of the breakout stars of that franchise. Her and um, Mary Crosby, Cosby, the one that was married to her granddaddy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Jen Shaw was arrested. Now I got this article from Deadline. Deadline is another um popular blog out there that I frequent from time to time. But let's get into what's being reported and what it is that she and her assistant did. So Deadline is stating more legal trouble for Real Housewives franchise. Federal prosecutors say Real Housewives of Salt Lake City star Jen Shaw and her assistant Stuart Smith engaged in a nationwide fraud, telemarketing, and conspiracy to commit money laundering scheme. These are some serious charges, and these charges can equal some real serious time behind bars in prison. Let's keep going. According to the filing, the duo and other accomplices, so there's more people tied to this fraud situation, <laughs> carried out a wide-ranging telemarketing scheme that defrauded hundreds of victims throughout the United States, many of whom were age of 55 and older. Okay, so they don't play when it comes to frauding uh, the elderly out of their money. And Jen Shaw is a piece of shit if this is what she was doing to elderly people. Let's keep going. They are accused of selling those victims so-called business services in connection with the victim's purported online businesses. The indictment alleges a widespread coordinated effort to traffic in lists of potential victims or leads, many of whom had previously made an initial investment to create an online business with other participants. The Real Housewives duo allegedly, among other things, generated and sold leads to other participants for use by their telemarketing sales floors with the knowledge that the individuals they had identified as leads would be defrauded by the other participants. Shaw and Smith received as profit a share of the fraudulent revenue. Shaw and Smith are each charged with one count of conspiracy to commit wire fraud in connection with telemarketing through which they victimized 10 or more persons over the age of 55. That charge carries a maximum sentence of 30 years. They were also hit with one count of conspiracy to commit money laundering, which carries a maximum sentence of 20 years. So 50 years behind bars, that's the maximum. Shaw and Smith were arrested earlier today and will be presented this afternoon in Salt Lake City Federal Court. This is serious, y'all. Federal? Real Housewives of Salt Lake City was renewed last month for a second season. And like I said, she was one of the more popular housewives on the show. She stood out. Her and Mary, is her last name Crosby or Cosby, the one that's married to her granddaddy? Said her grandmama wanted the two of them to get married. Y'all know who I'm talking about. 
<clears throat> excuse me. Let's continue on. Of course, this isn't the first time one of Bravo's franchise's stars has been hit with federal charges between 2014 and 2015. Um, Real Housewives of New Jersey, Teresa Judice served a 15-month stint in federal prison for fraud. Her husband, Joe, spent 41 months in prison. Now, the difference between Jen Shaw and Teresa Judice, Jen Shaw is not of the Caucasian persuasion. Mm -hmm. Moving on. They go on to say you can read the, the entire federal indictment. They list all of the information that's in the indictment. I'm going to go ahead and get into this. I'm going to go ahead and get into this. We're going we're gonna to skim around into it. Um, Audrey Strauss, the United States Attorney for the Southern District of New York, the special agent in charge of the New York Field Office of Homeland Security Investigations, and Derma Shia, Commissioner of the New York City Police Department, announced the unsealing of a superseding indictment charging Jennifer Shaw and Stuart Smith with conspiracy to commit wire fraud in connection with telemarketing and conspiracy to commit money laundering. The case has been assigned to the United States District Judge Sidney Stein. Shaw and Smith were arrested earlier today and will be presented this afternoon in Salt Lake City Federal Court before United States Magistrate Just Judge Dustin Pede. Manhattan U.S. Attorney Audrey Strauss said Jennifer Shaw, who portrays herself as a wealthy and successful business person on reality television, and Stuart Smith, who portrayed who is portrayed as Shaw's first assistant, because remember, she's got more than one assistant, allegedly generated and sold lead lists of innocent individuals. These are the elderly for other members of their scheme to repeatedly scam. So they had a list of elderly people over the age of 55, and they sold that information to other people um, to reach out to these elderly people so that they can scam. In actual reality, as an alleged, the so-called business opportunities pushed on the victims by Shaw, Smith, and their co-conspirators were just fraudulent schemes motivated by greed to steal victims' money. Now these defendants face time in prison for their alleged crime. For, for one crime, it was 30, a maximum of 30 years. For the other crime, it was a maximum of 20 years. HSI special agent in charge, Peter Fitzhugh says, Shaw and Smith flaunted their lavish lifestyle to the public as a symbol of their success. In reality, they allegedly built their opulent lifestyle at the expense of vulnerable, often elderly working class people. As alleged, disturbingly, Shaw and Smith objectified their very real human victims as leads to be bought and sold, offering their personal information for sale to other members of their fraud ring. Working with our partners at the NYPD and the United States Attorney's Office, Southern District of New York, and with the assistance of ASI, HSI Salt Lake City, HSI New York worked to ensure that Shaw and Smith will answer for their alleged crimes. As a result, their new reality may very well turn out differently than they expected. Let me repeat this again, what, what it sounds like they were doing. They had a list of victims. That list of victims consisted of elderly individuals over the age of 55. They would sell these people's personal information to other scammers within the ring so they then can reach out to those elderly individuals and scam them with whatever scam they had going on. That is some dirty shit. You hear me? Some dirty shit. There's more. 
NYPD Commissioner Derma Shia, I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, Shay maybe, said these individuals allegedly targeted and defrauded hundreds of victims. But thanks to the hard work of the NYPD and our law enforcement partners, this illegal scheme was brought to an end. I congratulate the NYPD detectives, Homeland Security Investigations, and the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York for their hard work in bringing these persons to justice. According to the allegations in the superseding indictment, from 2012 until March 2021, that's a long time, Jennifer Shaw and Stuart Smith together with collectively other participants carried out a wide-ranging telemarketing scheme that defrauded hundreds of victims throughout the United States, many of whom were over the age of 55 by selling those victims so-called business services in connection with the victims purported online businesses, the business opportunity scheme. Excuse me. In order to perpetuate the business opportunity scheme, participants, including Shaw and Smith, engaged in a widespread coordinated effort to traffic in lists of potential victims or leads, many of whom had previously made an initial investment to create an online business with other participants in the scheme. So they're just sharing this list of individuals um, around in this, in this circle of scammers. Um, leads were initial, initially generated by sales floor operating in, among other places, Arizona, Nevada, and Utah. The owners and operators of those sales floors operated in coordination with several telemarketing sales floors in the New York and New Jersey area, including in Manhattan, and provided lead lists and assistance in fighting victim refund requests to other participate other participants operating those floors. Shaw and Smith, among other things, generated and sold leads. Think of leads as your grandmother or your grandfather or, or your elderly aunt to other participants for use by their telemarketing sales floors with the knowledge that the individuals they had identified as leads would be defrauded by other participants. So their information to other people, knowing that those other people were going to defraud these elderly people out of their money. Shaw and Smith received as pro profit a share of the fraudulent revenue per the terms of their agreement with those participants. Sean Smith often controlled each aspect of the frauds perpetuated by other participants on the individuals they had identified by, among other things, determining which coaching sales floor could buy leads from them selecting the downstream sales floors to which the coaching sales floor was permitted to pass the leads, choosing the firms to provide fulfillment services. This is documents and records purporting to demonstrate that the services the participants claimed to provide to those victims were actual and legitimate. Setting how much the downstream sales floors could charge and determining which products each of the downstream sales floor could sell. To perpetuate the business opportunity scheme, certain of the participants um, sold alleged services purporting to make the management of victims' businesses more efficient or profitable, including tax preparation, website design, notwithstanding that many victims were elderly and did not own a computer. At the outset of the business opportunity scheme, certain participants employed by a purported fulfillment company sent a given victim electronic or paper pamphlets um, or provided so-called coaching sessions regarding these purported online businesses, but at no point did the defendants intend that the victims would actually earn any of the promised return on their intended investment. 
nor did the victims actually earn any such returns. Sean Smith undertook significant efforts to conceal their roles in the business opportunity scheme. For example, Sean Smith, among other things, incorporated their business entities using third party names and instructed other participants to do the same used and directed others to use encrypted messaging applications to communicate with other participants, instructed other participants to send Shaw's and Smith's shares of certain fraud proceeds to offshore bank accounts and made numerous cash withdrawal structure to avoid currency transaction reporting requirements. Shaw, 47 of Park City, Utah, and Smith, 43 of Lehigh, probably pronouncing that wrong, Utah, are each charged with one count of conspiracy to commit wire fraud in connection with telemarketing through which they victimized 10 or more persons over the age of 55, which carries a maximum sentence of 30 years and one count of conspiracy to commit money laundering, which carries a maximum sentence of 20 years. The maximum potential sentences in this case are prescribed by Congress and are provided here for informational purposes only, as any sentencing of the defendants will be determined by the judge. Ms. Strauss prayed the outstanding investigators' work. The case is being handled by the Office Money Laundering and Transitional Transnational Criminal Enterprise Unit, um, Assistant Uter United States Attorneys, Kirsten Fletcher, Bennett, Kearney, and Robert Sobelman are in charge of the prosecution. And it goes on to list, if you believe you were victimized, you can call this number and reach out to this person. This is some serious shit. This is some serious shit. And if they are found guilty, they need to serve every single day. Every single day that um, the judge gives them. Damn. They had a whole ring and that whole ring would work all of these different people listed on, on this ring as, as po potential leads. Leads equal your grandma, my mama, she's elderly. And they will offer them all of these different types of services knowing that they weren't going to be be able to provide these services so that they can see a return on that investment. And then they would turn around and sell this person's information to another scammer within the ring. And then that scammer can reach out to grandma and run a different scam, offer a different service. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Y'all get down in the comments. Y'all let me know your thoughts. Jen Shaw, she needs to go to prison. Her and her assistant, if they are found guilty. This is some dirty shit laced with greed. How do you do that to people? I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.